Oklahoma is a state that is full of residents that are suffering with food insecurity, lack of affordable housing, all sorts of economic issues that certainly make them and their family members suffer. But have no fear because the state lawmakers in Oklahoma are focusing all their energy on punishing transgender people. In fact, going so far as to potentially charging doctors who provide gender affirming care with felonies. Now, this isn't a law yet, but it is a proposal that was just announced by the state senate in Oklahoma. And here's what the bill reads. A physician or other healthcare professional shall not provide gender transition procedures to any individual under, get this, 26 years of age. So if you're an adult between the ages of 18 and 25, you're not allowed to make decisions <laughs> about gender affirming care for yourself because the uh, nanny state <laughs> has decided you're not allowed to make those decisions for yourself. But let me continue. Um, a, phys a physician or other healthcare professional shall not refer any individual under 26 years of age to any healthcare professional for gender transition procedures. And by the way, the bill does define what gender transition procedures means. Uh, they say that it's any form of gender affirming care. And so my question is, so if someone who is uh, transgender and, and wants to get counseling, if the counseling they're getting is that, I mean, is that considered gender affirming care? Very curious. Is that therapist, psychiatrist going to have to deal with uh, potential felonies for doing this? Yeah. So look, there's two issues here. Uh, one is the age. Uh, they started with, oh my God, we're just concerned about uh, Republicans in general did with little kids in elementary school, and we don't want them exposed to X, Y, and Z. And they were like, well, okay, fine, all of school, including high school, right? We we don't. We we're very concerned they're chopping up little children. Okay, this totally made up, right? Okay, but they just yep. okay. Now then they went to 21. Now they're 26, and now they're considering bills, including in Texas, where they're like, no, you're just not allowed to do it at all. Yeah. Okay, and and part of the lie that that exposes is they were like, oh, we're not against the LGBT community. We're not against transgender people. We're modern, good, sophisticated people. We love everybody. And then the corporate media tells you that no, 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 we're all good people. We just have slight disagreements. Right. Well, look. Now, though, they're like, yeah, just kidding. We hate transgender people and we don't want anyone to be transgendered. That's what we thought. Yeah, but look, to be fair to them, every other actual problem in the state of Oklahoma has been solved. Yeah. And the people living in Oklahoma feel like their financial situation is stable. They feel like they're living and thriving. And so, yeah, naturally, you would focus all your energy on uh, controlling the bodies of full grown adults. Great. Yeah. Um, now, by the way, I'm obviously being sarcastic. Oklahoma is a mess. And I'll get to that in a moment. But there's more to this bill. They write that. It being immediately necessary for the preservation of the public peace, health, or safety, an emergency is hereby declared to exist. An emergency. By reason whereof this act shall take effect and be in full force from and after its passage and approval. And what they, what they want to do is force the reversal of the gender affirming care or the transition, if you will. Mm -hmm. So if you're 25 years old, you're an adult, you're, you've decided, oh, I, I'm ready, I want to go through this transition because I identify with a gender that does not go along with you know, my biological gender, right? I want to go through the transition. The state is saying, if, if this bill passes, no, you're not allowed to make that decision. In fact, you now have to reverse whatever uh, gender affirming care or transition you've engaged in. Insane. Yeah, um, so that's the second issue here, which is, wait, what do we mean by gender affirming care? So if you say, for example, as uh, the right wing does, hey, we don't want gender reassignment surgery for people who are under 18 years old. Good news, that's already the law. We agree, everybody agrees, there's not any gender changing surgery under 18. That's the law today across the land, okay? Now, if you say on top of that, well, I don't mean just surgery. I mean hormones or hormone block blockers. I mean therapy. I want. I mean acknowledging it at all. Anything under the umbrella of gender affirming care. Well, okay, that's a completely different question, right? So now you can't go to a therapist if you're transgendered. I mean, that's that's crazy, right? Uh, I mean, I think that 
most people agreed that it was crazy a couple of uh, you know, months ago. But now all of a sudden Republicans are like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're taking the hood off. We hate them. We hate them when we don't want them to exist. Okay, so now we're going to show you the devastating results of this and how much suicide it leads to, etc. They don't in care. In a second, they don't care. They, I think they see that as an upside, it. right? Yeah. yeah. The cherry on the, the cherry on top. Yeah, and and part of this is driven by the hatred that the right wing has for anyone that doesn't look like them or act like them. But um, also, like, let's yes, th that's definitely true. But they also have to distract the voters that they're failing every single day. The same voters living in that state, suffering from the poverty that is forced upon them by these lawmakers who couldn't care less about them. They gotta distract them with something, some nefarious, scary group of people to, to focus all their attention on. That's what this is about. But exactly, Anna. And, and the reason that the Republican politicians do that in Oklahoma is because they suspect and unfortunately they are correct. That Republican voters in Oklahoma are cowards. Oh, I just said it. Oh, what do you mean? I wear a big cowboy hat, I'm wearing the boots, and I do the fake rodeo thing every once in a while. I'm a tough guy. You guys passed a law saying that you can't establish Sharia law in Oklahoma. Why? Was there going to be a Muslim empire encroaching upon? Totally. Tulsa? No, I'm sure that that okay. really improved your lives. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, there was no Sharia law. There was no threat of Sharia law. There is no. What are you guys talking about? But if you say to a Republican or right wing voter in Oklahoma, Muslims, they're like, ah! you tell them immigrants. Ah! Now you tell them transgender people, they're like, let's wipe them out. I'm so scared of them. Everything is fear, 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 fear. They're so scared of non-existent threats. If someone is transgender, that doesn't mean you're transgender. Stop being so afraid. Why are you so concerned about other people's decisions about their lives that have no impact on you whatsoever? Have more concern about the lawmakers who assist corporations in robbing you of your money to pad the pockets of said corporations. That's actually causing real harm and damage to your lives. But I mean, look, the bait is so easy to take and they take it again and again and again and it's incredibly frustrating. So going back to what you were saying earlier, Jenk, about the suicide rates. Yeah, they're certainly far more prevalent among the transgender community and it's understandable that it would be the case when the national conversation and debate about it makes transgender individuals seem like they're the worst people on the planet when they're human beings who in my opinion should be able to make decisions about how to move forward with their doctor. Similar to how women should be able to make decisions about their own bodies with their doctor at play, not some weirdo politician in the federal government. Anyway, in this prospective cohort of 104 trans and non-binary youths aged 13 to 20 years, a receipt of gender affirming care, including puberty blockers and gender affirming hormones was associated with 60% lower odds of moderate or severe depression and 73% lower odds of suicidality over the 20 month follow up. 12 month follow up. I'm sorry, 12 month follow up. Yeah, look guys, if you pass these laws and they're not allowed to get any help, more of them are going to literally kill themselves, okay? And by the way, more of them are gonna move out of Oklahoma too. And I know Republicans are a lot of right wingers watching this video right now thinking mission accomplished. But just don't pretend that you don't don't hate the LGBTQ community. Oh, oh well, us? Oh, golly gee, we're so innocent. Oh yeah, gay people and and trans people and everybody, you should vote for us. Oh, we respect you just the same. It's just we want to protect the children. Well, what? Which is a twenty-six-year-old, a child in Texas? There's they have a law that's proposed that has no age limits, just saying we will ban your freedom. If you think you were born this way, mm -hmm. and that is how you feel, the jackbooted thugs of government tyranny in Texas are gonna come and in Oklahoma and say, no, whatever's inside your head, we don't believe you. And you no longer have that freedom because Oklahoma and Texas are not the land of the free. They're the land of the opp oppressive right wing who says, I control your body, I control your thoughts. I even control your gender. You don't control a goddamn thing. Okay, that's the big government that we should actually be concerned about. 
if a Republican is talking, a Republican is lying. They said they were against big government, my ass they are, they love big government. The most recent data uh, available for Oklahoma and how it's ranking uh, in the country on these issues is from 2020. And here's what we know. They ranked 47th in hunger and food insecurity, or food <laughs> security, I should say. Out of 50, by the Out way. Out of 50, okay, they ranked 49th in healthcare coverage. But hey, we get to discriminate against transgender folks that have no impact on our lives whatsoever. So we're winning, right? Let me keep going though. You should and be so proud of it. Yeah, 48th in higher education attainment. So percentage of young adults ages 25 to 34 who had an associate's degree or higher. Yeah, look, Republicans have turned states like Oklahoma into giant dumpster fires that they didn't have to be. So, but what they did for decade after decade is, we're gonna have our donors rob you all blind, and we're gonna throw out some treats for you guys. Hatred, fear, and all the Republican voters clamored for the hatred and the fear, and they fed themselves on it. And that's the only thing they have to eat. That's why they rank so low in every poverty measure, education measure, you name it. Because they, the Republican politicians betrayed you, and they, you let them do it so easily. Freedom. Just don't ever say you're in favor of freedom again. You hate the idea. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.